Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Variety Friday, continuing on with some more Kingdom Rush Frontiers. Last time we left off, I barely beat this level in the previous episode, and then this one I did okay-ish, I guess. Hopefully this time around I can do just a little bit better. Otherwise, I do think I have a better grasp on the mechanics of this game and how all the end towers kind of uh, interact and, I guess, play on each other's kind of strengths and weaknesses. Anyway, we are at Nazaru's Gate. Uh, we have arrived at the legendary gates of Nazaru, which block passage to the Lost Lands. Something foul is at play here, and the troops are nervous. Not the roving enemy war bonds we've seen. Our men can handle those. Fortunately, the Archmage Guild is here to aid us in opening the gates, and we'll have to take them on our. We have them on our side if the battle if battle breaks out. Uh, I don't really know what this is, so I'll just um, I'll just leave it at that. Uh, Archmage Tower. Dealing heavy damage, it can recharge its homing magic bolts when idle. Um, okay, so the exit is here, and I think that maybe in a later round, this gate's gonna open up to reveal another lane. So I'm guessing the layout here is it's gonna go from here, down to here, down to here, down to here, then here to here, 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 and then just like that. Okay, so what I think I wanna do is I think I need to be utilizing artillery tower more. It's just the problem is it's so expensive, so. I think what I'm going to have to do is maybe try and, I don't know, like, um, try to use Black, Blackthorn's, like, you know, uh, whatchamacallit, his cash generation. I'm going to have to utilize that more often. And uh, Assassin's Guild also is pretty good at that. So I think I will have it here, maybe, or maybe here. Yeah, I'll have a militia here. Upgrade this, and if I want to, I could like put it up here to generate more cash, but I don't think I'll need to do that. I will put a mage tower here, put a tower here, put a magic tower here, and then I think that's what I want to all I want to do for now. I'll just upgrade these. Yeah, I think that's all I want to do for right now. And then later on, I can maybe get a militia tower either like here or here the assassin's guild but i think first things first i think i want to go for uh, assassin's guild uh, first and foremost as the, you know these early rounds aren't like too overly difficult so i think i'm free to do that yeah, we're pretty doing pretty good so far mage towers putting in work with these guys who are weak to magic um i'll upgrade this further um, I'm kind of confident, so I think I will send in a lane early, because the amount of damage you're doing is not bad at all. I can maybe put a magic tower here. Although, I don't know. Okay, I'll upgrade this. I'll send reinforcements here, as there's kind of a lot of enemies. Actually, it might be a little bit too much to handle, so let me just do this preemptively. It might be a bit early, but I kind of want to be safe. Um, I think I will just straight up rush the assassin skill. As they're kind of close, to be honest. I still need to get two levels of this, so I still need like more money before I can actually utilize the cash generation. But I think that's fine. Let's see, Desert Thug, Sanon, and Immortal. Uh, okay. I'll again. I'll send it in early. I feel like we're doing pretty good so far. This lane had some people sneak through, but I think it's fine. Uh, let's upgrade this twice. And I think that's all I'm going to do for now. And then... Uh... Those guys are just going to have to go through. I think I got a bit too overzealous with the sending of rounds early, but oh well. What's the purpose of lives if not to send in rounds early? Oh, this is this lane is definitely strong. Let me upgrade this a little bit. Um, I probably should be upgrading my assassins get a little bit, because I did put a lot of money into that, and so... I definitely do need the damage from here. Yeah, I definitely send way too early. Um, we're not able to kind of hold everyone off. But it seems like these lanes are going to be the most dangerous here so far. So maybe I can get another one of this. And then maybe try to go for the Archmage Tower. Or I could go for this because it's honestly cheaper and probably a, bit sh a little bit stronger. Um... I think I'll just kind of wait till most of these guys are dead before I send in this. We got to deal with a little elite or boss, I guess. Alright. Um, 
Yeah, I'll go for I'll go for this next. You know, I'll just kind of be careful when it comes to kind of sending runes early. Also, I forgot those guys are flying enemies, so we're not going to be able to. This guy is only going to be able to deal damage with his gun, and this guy can't attack at all. Which is a little bit unfortunate. All right, upgrade this, and then 300 for it. It's a, kind of a lot of money, but I think it's worth going for. Um, Lost Queen is coming out. I'm not really too worried about it. Not too worried about it. As I think we do decent damage in this lane, even though, you know, I can only attack by flying by these guys. You know, we're doing a lot of good, good damage. So I'll send this in early. Um, I'm confident that, we'll, or that we're going to be able to beat it. Um, I think this wasp is just going to have to go through. Unfortunately, though, that's the case, but oh well. Um, I probably need some more damage on this side, so I'll go for... Now I'll go for this. I'll go for that. Um, because we're, we're kind of kind of encountering a lot of magic uh, weakness on this side. This side so far has been pretty chill, thankfully. Um, nothing really too dangerous has come from this lane. Hopefully it kind of stays that way. Um, but I definitely do need some more damage on this side, so I'll go for this. And I'll put it here. So just in case anything gets past, you know, we can have this Militia Tower stall. Alright, let's send... I think maybe... I think I can maybe make more money here sending Blackthorn here. Because I feel like there's more uh, enemies on this lane. I will get crossbow for it. Because um, why not? And then I'll send them in early. Oh, I think I want to get Falcon here. Just improving the range of this guy. It's like range and critical chance. Uh, I'll focus down the Sandrites because they can overwhelm if I'm not careful. Actually, I'm going to just do this. That did no damage. Okay, yeah, Falcon here. Um, this might be a problem because we're not focusing this. I can't change targeting as a thing, which I would like love to be able to do. This bike, I just have it sound strong so that way we can just uh, beat him. So I think I might need to send Blackborn over here. Because I need I need someone to focus focus this guy down. Because I mean if anything gets past here, I don't have anything to stop it with. I feel like it's a probably decent way to make gold, and we're already getting overwhelmed. Um I mean, I can upgrade this a little bit further, but there's not really much I can do here. Blackthorn's dead, and these two are still alive. I wonder why it's not attacking um, this guy here. Uh, I can maybe send it in early to reduce cooldowns on this, but it's not really looking ideal. Um, I need you to stop focusing these. I need you to attack these guys. We'll just have to tank those lives. I, that's not 14, and they only take out one, but it's just I can't focus the wrong right person, and we're going to die here. Focusing the sand race is tough. Let me just restart, because there's no targeting, so I can't change it to where I can attack these guys. Everything's just kind of defaulted on first, if I had to guess. Which is a tad bit frustrating. Alright, so we're back to where we left off with No Lives Lost as well. Hopefully we can do kind of slightly better. I replaced the Magic Tower with the, with the Archer Tower here, so hopefully that can actually do something. Also have a Militia Guild here that's been upgraded to Assassin's Guild. So hopefully that can do something. Um, I still would like to be able to kind of have a strong targeting, but hopefully we can maybe stall long enough. I think I can maybe get a uh, Black Dorn over here. I think this lane is fine. I think we do have some strong defense here. Um, I kind of need to utilize my hero to kind of do whatever I want it to do. The thing is, it's just, it just kind of ignores this guy. And this guy is like getting absolutely like rocked by him. So let me see if I can... They must have some like some sort of damage resistance that I just can't really remember. I think that we're doing a bit better. We're doing a little bit more damage this time. But regardless, it's still not looking amazing. Um, these guys are probably going to get through. That's fine. I'll just let them... Um, Assassin's really gonna keep them. If we could just 
please take them out. Um, come on. I'm okay with leaking some lives, just need to get the wraiths down. It's just so hard to kind of focus them down. We got one. Perfect. Uh, do something here. Um, hopefully these guys can take these guys out. Um, let me upgrade this, see if I can get this up to dwarf. So we've kind of controlled the situation here. Um, it's just now this lane is a bit of a problem. I think it's kind of getting a little bit weak. Uh, there's another giant lost queen. I'm not really too worried about that. Um, Blackthorn, can you go back here? Actually, Blackthorn, if you could just... We've got these guys down, so we're fine there, but... So we've only lost four lives this round, so we actually passed it, but I don't know if we're going to be doing too much better now. Um... I, I mean, we're close to the dwarf, which I feel like if we get that, you know, slowing, having it slow is pretty useful. Um, I definitely need some extra on this one because Dune Terrors can be a bit of a problem if I'm not careful. Okay, so we got dwarf. I don't think they'll attack Dune Terrors, but just like any other lane, I think would be pretty good. Uh, actually, we're kind of screwed here. Um, let me... Because that's a lot of wasps, and I don't have a lot of range towers, now that I think about it. And I forgot that the, uh, the wasps are flying, so I can't really do anything about it. We're kind of holding them off, but I feel like it's just like barely. We're barely holding off here. But, I mean, barely is still holding them off, so I'm kind of cool with that. So, um, I think I want to go for crossbow forts. Um, I think I can still get falcon here, because they'll probably buff the range. Okay, so it doesn't seem we're going to lose any lives to the, um, whatchamacallit, but still, I feel like that was a bit close for comfort. And somehow, we didn't lose anything. Um, I'll kind of leave Blackthorn where it is, I feel like... Actually, I feel like this side still is pretty weak. I think this side's kind of fine, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, it's fine. So I'll just, I'll kind of leave this where it is. I'll upgrade this once. Uh, I'll upgrade it twice. I definitely do want to keep these guys alive. Now I'll upgrade, want to upgrade this to a Falconeer. Actually, yeah, let me get this first so I can get that branch and critical chance buff. Um, wait, how did we let the scorpion through? Um, can we move back, please? Fall back. This lane is fine, surprisingly. Um, let me get this. Uh, surprisingly, that's not in range, even though the range is engulfing it. Uh, we're gonna have to tank those leaks. Um, I feel like you definitely do need quite a bit of militia, uh, for, uh, Falconeers. I could probably upgrade this one some more, but let me show some love to these guys. I definitely do kind of want them alive. Um, I think we can take out the Scorpion just fine. Alright, so we got that. <sighs> Boy, sent it a little bit early, even though it's not going to do too much. It's fine. Um, okay, we're definitely taking a bit too long to get the scorpion down. Let's focus these guys back up here. I'll upgrade this. Actually, no, I need to. I need to get this. Um, scorpions might be a bit of a problem in this lane. I think they're weak to magic. I think this guy's doing a bit more magic damage, so I'll upgrade to Arc Mage, but regardless, it's still not looking too great. Uh, more Dune Terrors are just going to get through. Um, let's upgrade this to the third tier. Um, I'll send reinforcements down here. Uh, somehow, we're barely holding off Dune Terrors. Um, Blackthorn's dead. Rip him. Um... Assassin's Guild is not holding off too great. Um, I need this guy over here. I just need him to stall so the Assassin's Guild can come back. I want to try to get this guy to dwarp, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. An Executioner. Um, more Executioners. Cool. Uh, um, can you get up here, please, when your assistance is needed? Um, boy, this guy's gonna die, like, almost immediately. Three executioners! Great, great, great. Um, 
Blackthorn's dead. Not really looking too great. Uh, we kind of just raw DPS this guy because we can't, you know, these guys aren't going to be too useful. It seems that we are doing no damage. Even if we tank them all, that's only like six lives lost. But regardless, I still don't really want to do that. So this guy is almost dead. I think we might just barely be able to kill him. Okay, so we got him down. Perfect. Uh, I'll focus this guy down because he's not doing too much. So I'll upgrade the Falcon here. And this should... Okay, it only got one. It's weird. Even though this is clearly in range. But oh well. Okay, so it seems like we're going to beat all Executioners, which is great. Um, I do want some upgrades on this because Dwarp is putting in some work. Actually, let me get this guy to Dwarp. I definitely do think a Dwarp here for the slow would be perfect. And I think that we're doing pretty well. I'm confident in sending the next lane. The next wave, I should say. I definitely don't want to get Furnace Blast. I'm doing some more extra damage with the slow. This is going to be good. Definitely starting to kind of struggle here. It's pretty, pretty fun too, you know, kind of playing a tower defense game that you're not really too familiar with. But like, man, you know, this is definitely requiring a lot of effort on my part. But this is pretty fun. Just like how I remember it back in the days of Flash when that was around. Um, I can maybe upgrade a Falcon here. I can get a one more upgrade, but I don't really know. I'll upgrade these guys to max. I'll upgrade this to max. Um, I think at this point, you know, we're kind of hit a critical mass point to where we, um, you know, we're doing pretty good. So I think this is the final amount of towers I'm going to have. I'm just going to focus on upgrades. Although I will say, you know, I do kind of wish I could make a little bit more money, but I can see why they, um, why this game doesn't have a lot of money making options. Although I feel like Blackthorn has come in clutch when it comes to just making money, as I feel like he's kind of made a lot, even though I can't really see how much he's made. Like, I just feel... Like, I can definitely feel the cash generation that he definitely is making, along with Assassin's Guild, too. I'll send this one just a little bit early. Another Sand Wraith? I think I'm fine, honestly. Uh, Sand Wraiths, I feel like with the Dwarf, I think we're now fine against Sand Wraiths. I'm not really too worried about them. Although, Sand Wraith on this side might be a bit of a problem, because we'd only have one fucking... There's two as well. Oof. Um, let me get another Furnace Blast here, because I feel like there's definitely going to be a lot of these mummies, mummy guys here. Um, I want to get Mirage for this lane, so that way we can focus down the... Whatchamacallit? The Sand Wraiths. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to need a lot of help here. Um, I could maybe get Falconeer for more critical chance. Um, although, maybe not. Save up for Mirage. Or maybe this. I think this is an auto-kill, or one-shot kill. If I, I guess. I don't know. Get Barrage. Um, get these guys here. We're doing decent damage against them, so I guess I'm not really too panicked. But this here is kind of a lot. Um, but definitely Dink Dwarp is really good crowd control. So I think that's where Dwarp excels at. So I'll keep that in mind. If I need a crowd control option, I'll go for Dwarp. I can see why it's so expensive. It definitely does... This upgrade definitely does justify, like, it's, you know, it's pricey price tag. Let's upgrade this one more time. And I can maybe want to go for a Twister. Having a blowback would be pretty nice. This is the last wave, um, wave 14, so maybe I won't even need it. But I don't know, it would be nice. Um, two sand rates on this side, not really too worried about. This lane, I think, is in more danger. Uh, danger. There is an Executioner here, and I'm assuming there's going to be another one. I didn't really look at how many there were. Um, there's four, okay. I still think we're fine. Let me go for another round of barrage. Um, because we're holding this off pretty well. There's another executioner, but we should be fine. Ooh, three. I'm not really as confident as I now am. This lane, I think, is fine, but um, having multiple executioners. Okay, so executioners can be affected by twisters, so that's good to know. So I mean, if we could stall, you know, stall them, I think that's fine. I think that's honestly fine. Um, let me get some damage, like, kind of beforehand, so let me get that. So, we got one down. Can we Twister the remaining Executioners? Perfect. They didn't go very far. Um, I'll get another level of Twister. I probably should have gone for this. Um, 
crap. Oh, uh, this lane, we're not doing too hot. Can we get more furnace stuff? Um, I assume that we're going to be fine. Hopefully, I don't tie to the last wave. That would be very frustrating. Um, I just realized we're not doing a whole lot of damage here to the sand wraiths. Okay, so we got that down. Let me... I can't move these. Okay, let me just sell this because you don't really need it anymore. Let me get, just get magic tower real quick. Uh. Uh. So I just realized we're not doing any damage to any of the sand wraiths. Uh. Twister, come on. Save me. Uh, go here. Go here. Uh, sell. Um, man, come on, and this is so dumb. <laughs> no targeting is really just killing me. I need like Twister or something. I got this. If we can just like barely win this, that'd be incredible. Um, this isn't really helping, but there's not really much I can do here. I think everything here is like fully upgraded. Um, we're just kind of barely holding off, which is honestly impressive. I will say it's myself. Um, if we can just stall, I think we got all but one sand wraith, which if true is big, big if true. Um, okay, well that was panic inducing. I'm so focused on executioners. I thought we were fine for this side because we were doing some decent damage to holding them back off, but I guess I wasn't the case. Okay, so we're just barely going to beat this. I guess a win is a win. These guys just so much help too, you know. Okay, crisis subverted. Um... Ah, crap. Um, okay, uh... Uh... Let me get this back. Uh, dwarp. Um... Let's get this, this, that. Um... Magic, uh, I'll sell this one. Uh, okay, well, that's very fun. I'm pretty sure it's an auto lose if he gets through, so can we please have him come back? Or are they just like that now? Uh, okay, we're doing okay, I guess. Oh, he just one shots people, that's fun. Okay, well, I think I did say earlier that there's probably going to be a boss that spawns from here, kids, if I had to guess. But, I mean, we're kind of halfway through, and he's pretty slow, too. I think we might just barely be able to do this. I think I can honestly sell this guy and go for maybe another one here. Uh. Um. Come on. We're so close to beating him. Um, Blackthorn, I need you over here. Okay, so his little mini guys aren't really too much of an issue. He just one-shots people. That's nuts. Okay, come on. Um, we're so close. Come on, come on. Perfect. All right. This level was not easy. Okay. Um, I don't know how I won that, but it did. With two stars to boot, even though it was uh, very panic-inducing. Okay. A uh, new challenge. Face the endless enemies and compete for the best score. Interesting. In endless mode. Runes of Nazde. General and ancient power has risen from eons of slumber and it's commanding commanding the desert tribes in an attempt to enslave the land once again. Face him at the runes of Nazde and decimate his army. I will not be doing that. Um, I unlocked a hero, but I'll worry about that later. Um, I don't even know what upgrade I want to get. I think maybe this. I don't even know if I want to use another hero now that I think about it, just because, like, what could a hero do that, you know, is better than cash generation? I guess I'll try him out, just because. So he summons a lot of stuff. Okay. I was going to get one of everything so far. Oh, cool. He regenerates life. Interesting. So he can stay alive for a while. Let me see if that's useful. I at least want to use them once, just because. So... Just so that we can see what they can do. But I don't really think they're going to be better than Blackthorn. Anyways. The Mighty Templar order, order joins us as we reach the breathtaking Crimson Valley. A name it's earned for being the 
Makwa, Makwa tribes hunting grounds. We've established a base camp here and given the men some time off to rest and recover. We must remain vigilant. None of us have ever seen one of them Makwa, but the rumors about them are unsettling to say the least. Well, that's fun. Nice art, we'll say. Oh, cool, more lore. Are you sure the Kuiku is around here? Affirmative. Let's hurry up. I don't want to go back to camp. What's the rush? This is a safe zone. Hmm, doesn't seem very safe to me. Uh, Knights Templar, cool. Trains very resistant armored knights with huge high damaging swords. It's a barracks upgrade. Interesting. Um, alright. Okay, so... So, two lanes here. This isn't really too bad. Um, okay, so definitely artillery tower here. Um... Spear Maiden, the means of the jungle for unorganized or daily fighting. Okay, so I guess I gotta remove this in order to have stuff. Okay, so I think this lane might give out. This feels kind of lane-ish to me. Hopefully, hopefully I'm wrong about that. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to upgrade this guy to Dwarp once he gets here. I think this spot's like the best for Dwarps. Um, and I guess I will go for... Actually, let me restart. I don't think Dwarp is the move here. Uh, I think I'll go for Militia. Actually, wait, no. Militia is good for stalling. Not, It's not like a spike factory, so let me restart yet again. And now, in my original plan, yeah, I'll go for Dwarp here. Let me remove this and go for Archer, Mage. Um, Archer, yeah. Um, I think I might go for... Oh crap, I put a militia here. I think that's that's not fine. Okay, I think I'll go for a militia here for this lane. And then a I'll go for a magic tower militia. And then uh this and then maybe another mage. And then this will just kind of be my defense for now. New enemy, cool. Jungle Spider, this jungle variant of this vicious predator is a lot meaner than its forest cousin, fast and has magic resistance. Oh, well, that's fun. Wow, okay, they weren't kidding when they said he's fast, and oh, I just realized that I don't have, this guy doesn't reach over here. That's fine. Um, let me get this guy to actually do something. Big guy coming through. Okay. Oh, cool. Wow, that's actually pretty decent. Pretty good crowd control. I'm assuming that this guy hopefully is good at cr cr crowd control. I'm hoping that's kind of like his niche is crowd control. But I still, you know, even if it uh, does have good crowd control, cash generation, man, is powerful. It definitely is powerful in this game. Um, Savage warrior. Okay, hopefully that's not too worse than the other warriors. Spiders don't seem to be too bad at the moment, although that could always change. I guess I'll just send in this lane, because why not? Although, I mean, he's good at staying alive with his health regeneration, I've noticed. Um, what does Savage Warrior do? Savage Warrior, a fearless tribal warrior with the scars to prove his right of passage. Average speed, cannibalizes victims. Well, that's fun. I'm assuming that when he cannibalizes someone, he's going to uh, regain health. So I guess he's kind of like the anti anti militia if I had to guess. Danger is my trade. Danger is your trade. Freedom! Why does he sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger? I just kind of realized it. Um, so I'm assuming I don't want to let these guys kill the um savage warriors, kind of kill any of the militia men. If I had to guess. Um, I'm kind of. Kind of curious to see whether, you know, Knights Templar would even be better than, let's say, Assassin Skilled. Because, I mean, high damage is nice, but, you know, again, cash generation. Um, just having more money to invest into stronger towers, I feel like, is better than just having, like, you know, one strong tower. I mean, it's kind of true about all tower defense games, honestly. Uh, Savage Warrior and Jungle Spider times 18. Um, I kind of want to wait to kind of send the wave in because I don't have anything for this side. I just realized, you know, where I, I placed everything, you know, oh, I got to get wave here. Arch tower here so that way it can attack savage the spiders while, um, I guess it's happening. Yeah, so the Beastmaster has some pretty good survivability. 
So I guess survivability kind of is this thing. Let me upgrade this. They definitely do need some uh, more archer DPS in order to kind of beat the spiders. Since they have magic resistance. Um, I also do want to kind of upgrade these guys. I think I still might want to stick with Assassin's Guild. Or I guess I could try out Nice Templar because, you know, why not? Um, we're already leaking, which is unfortunate. I guess those guys are just going to have to go through. Then maybe the dwarf here wasn't the play because, um, you know. Yeah, I'll just kind of cut my losses and sell it. I don't think it's worth going for. It's so late in the track that I don't think the slowdown is going to be too helpful. Which is mainly kind of what I was going for is the slowdown. So like by the time stuff gets here, you know, I don't feel like a slow is really going to help much. I think this lane is fine, so I'll send this guy to over here. We'll say it's been pretty pretty calm so far. Nothing really stand has like stood out to like being like incredibly dangerous so far. Which is a good sign. But I feel like it might be just because maybe the game's like, you know, setting up to have some sort of I don't know, something really tough later on. These guys are getting through. It's unfortunate. So I think this is gonna be like kind of an arch driver defense. Another boss, giant wasp, giant wasp. That's not a wasp. That's not a boss thing. Um, so I'm kind of wondering if maybe there's going to be something later on that's a boss. Uh, let me upgrade this guy. Uh, I'll just use that and I'll send in the wasps. I'll just cut the two two losses for these. Also, I noticed that bananas are kind of being thrown out here. I'm assuming that's from monkeys that are rolling around. Also, there's a silhouette of a guy here. I just noticed that. I'm assuming he's going to be important later on. Oh. Never mind. Interesting. I'm assuming that's like a reference to something. Probably a predator. Because I think that's kind of what it looked like to me. Yeah, so I'll kind of be focusing on arch towers for now. As I'm assuming that most of these enemies are probably going to have magic resistance. Resistance. Savage warrior from this lane. I was kind of send this one in early. Oh, cool. Would you look at that? I was kind of right, there was going to be another lane somewhere. Uh, Witch Doctor. Uh, Aboriginal healers that use a secret mojo to heal their tribal brothers. Average speed healing aura. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, if there was some sort of targeting, I would like to focus them down, but there is not, so I can't. Okay, so I'll go for the Knights Templar. Because um, I think a stalling, a good stalling method is kind of needed here. Master, beast master. So we kind of want to focus him down if we can. Actually, I'll just go for this to make this easy. All right, nice Templar has been acquired. I will say it's a snazzy looking building. All right, so what do you see? I have toughness, increases life. Attacks have a chance of causing bleeding, dealing 75 damage over three seconds. And Templars have a 20% chance of cheating death every time they are dealt lethal damage. Okay. So they have some sort of um, survivability aspect here. Great. Okay, so I definitely kind of want to invest into that because having them stay alive for as long as possible is definitely ideal. Although, unfortunately, we are still kind of struggling here. I mean, I don't know. Although, I guess if you know how to use your money efficiently, maybe Assassin's Guild isn't really needed. But I mean, I feel like getting money earlier is still pretty good. Also, we are like secretly like not doing too high here. Uh, this lane is not really as secure as I thought it was, and I think it's because of the healer. I would like to kind of figure out a way to kind of be able to target people that I want to. Um, there just doesn't seem to be a way to kind of do so at the moment. I can send my hero there, but heroes are like so squishy that they can't really survive long. Even with this guy with his health regeneration, doesn't survive too much longer. The hunt is on. I would like to kind of be able to kind of focus people down, but it seems like there's not really a way that at least I know of. I can send reinforcements to kind of stall this guy, but I think that's kind of the best I can really do. Let's get this down here and then hopefully we're kind of fine. 
I noticed the boar does like no damage, so I guess the boars wouldn't like, like stalling. Yeah, so it seems that whenever there's like an ab uh, a healer, tribal healer down here, it seems that the Knights nice Templar isn't able to kind of out DPS the healing. Giant wasp, giant wasp, giant wasp. Okay. I think the wasp stages or, you know, waves are probably going to be the easiest as we do have a fair amount of, um, you know, anti, anti air. Yeah, it seems we're going to be leaking more. And I think that's dead. I can maybe. I can send this guy back, but I mean, we can only like leak one more life. Honestly, I feel like just selling this and then just going for another Archer Tower. And send in the wasps. Send in the wasps. Let's get Holy Grail. Just for some more survivability. Monkey's constantly throwing up bananas, but I mean, they always throw out the bananas whenever it's like a flying enemy wave, which isn't really useful. So I'm guessing that this level is kind of a archer mainly level, so I'll just sell this one too and just go for archers. Maybe it's a bad idea because who knows, maybe like kind of later on they'll kind of be like, you know what, so let's throw a bunch of, let's throw a bunch of enemies that are really weak to magic, but like really, really tough against archers. Uh, jungle spawner, jungle matriarch, that doesn't sound too good. Yeah, the giant wasp waves are like really easy. It's like free money at this point. Uh, cool. Jungle of Matriarch. The aggressive predator hunts using its offspring to overwhelm its victims. High damage, magic, resistance, spawn, spiderlings. Yep. Oh, it's like the desert wraith. Um, okay, you guys, you are really speedy, but you are really weak too. Okay, but the spiderlings are, you know, like really fast. Wow. So I was right. This definitely is a like kind of a uh, magic, a magic kind of heavy level. Magic resistance heavy. Uh, okay, that guy almost ran through. If I had known that from the start, I definitely wouldn't have invested into the magic towers. I could have saved money. So with that, I will just get more archers. I feel like it's kind of hard to invest into stronger upgrades without extra cash. I think I'll get this guy to assassin the guild. But who knows, maybe that's not a good idea because it seems that the most action is going to be coming from this side here. But thankfully we are killing stuff pretty fast. I'm going to send this over here because there's nothing coming from this lane. Um, Spiderling, can you be stopped please? Thank you. I can't really leak lives because they don't have much to kind of tank. Um, let me get Assassin's Guild. I did have enough money for whatchamacallit, but I feel like Assassin's Guild might be better. Let me move these guys up a little bit further. So they can see more, a little more action. And all the Arch Towers have pretty good range, so they can kind of see stuff here anyways. So thankfully this lane's going to be kind of chill for a little while. That's perfect. Send this in early. I'm um, not really too worried about that, but I definitely do know there's going to be a lane like right here somewhere. Um, I think I can maybe send these guys a little bit back with this in mind. There's going to be a bunch of jungle matriarchs coming in, which um, can be a bit of a problem if I'm not careful. On the trail. Um, hey, can you pop them, please? Or I guess not really pop them, but just kill them. Um, I'll just get more archers. I would like to upgrade them to the final tier, but I just can't. I don't have the money to do so. So it seemed that this wave wasn't really too bad. I guess it's not really done, that's probably why, but even still, we're holding them off just fine. I can like almost infinitely spawn trial mains as much as I want to. I kinda wonder why these guys won't help us, but the other people don't. This is probably a money incentive, that's probably why. Alright, Assassin's Guild's not really doing too much, which is a bit of a problem. I will say the layout of these uh, maps are definitely kind of. I'd say that so far they seem to be a bit harder than BTD6. As you can imagine, you know, being this map on chimps would be kind of a struggle. Just thinking about it. As I guess the best central spot would be like around here somewhere. Um, I'll upgrade this to crossbow forks. I'm kind of curious to see what the 
other side of the upgrade what this one's going to be. Okay, um... I will send this guy over here. There's just spiders on this side, which I which I can deal with. I don't think it's too bad, but the Wish Doctors and the Savage Warriors are definitely kind of a struggle to beat. I wonder how many I could send out before the game's like, no. Also, can you please stop letting people run past you? That'd be perfect. That would be really appreciated. Um, how are we on this side? Are we doing alright? Hopefully we are. Uh, yeah, okay, so we kind of reached a point where we know we're confidently holding everything off, so that's great. 40% chance is pretty good. Um, yeah, you know, so far we've done pretty, we're doing pretty well. Uh, mid rounds were rough. Actually, I say we're doing pretty well as the Beastmaster dies. Um, oh, come on, get him. I think someone just cheated death because I heard a oh, sound effect. Also, I have a lot of money. I should be investing into stuff. Um, hey, can we do something about this? Uh, oh boy, are we dead here? Okay, I can leak one more. Hopefully this doesn't take him out too. Nope, we are barely, we are barely living. This always happens, I don't know why. Savage Warrior, Witch Doctor, uh, Okay, so this lane definitely does need some help here. Um... I just don't really know what type of I want to add. I can add more stuff. A dwarf here wouldn't be bad. But there's only three waves left, and I don't think I can get that in time, up in time. I just don't think I can get it up in time. Um, Beastmaster, he's not bad, but, I don't know, extra cash generation is just too good to pass up. Um, can we get him down, please? I haven't used any items so far, but I feel like maybe items could be useful. Although, to be honest, I don't really want to use them, if I can help it. Um, even still with all these towers here, I feel like I'm just like tickling them. I don't, I don't feel like I'm doing a lot of damage. Let me move this over here. I just kind of realized I should be utilizing my Assassin's Guild as well as my Knight's Templar. Uh, let's do damage. More damage. So if anything gets past, these guys can help out. I just kind of forgot that they don't have to be stuck here. Oh, so this guy's pretty good at staying alive is uh, an upside to him. Um, let's see, Jungle Matriarch, that's fine. More Jungle Matriarch, Witch Doctor, Witch Doctor. Okay. Um, Things are getting a little bit far. Um, There's just a lot of them. And targeting the Witch Doctors is a bit of a problem. Let me... Uh, I think we're dead. Hold on. This is almost up. Nope, it's 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 Jover. It's over. Magic's the best way to deal with the armored enemies. Thankfully, none of these guys are weak to magic. I think I'm gonna end here. The episode is getting a bit long, but man, this game is tough. This game is tough. This guy Cronin, I'm not really feeling him. I just think Blackthorn's better. Just having extra cash is just so awful. But um, yeah, I was only able to beat one level today. But I will say, at least I did better than kind of what I did over here. Yeah, that was that. You know, if you enjoyed the video and want to see more Variety Friday, be sure to kind of let me know. But if not, it's kind of whatever. But regardless, you know, have a nice day.